All right, guys, I got the Jetson. There's an electric XP. But today we're taking the Jetson. We're gonna try to go to Monroeville and down, then down to Turtle Creek. Now, you know I'm gonna have to walk up those couple hills with the Jetson because, uh, you know, the Jetson can't hang with those <laughs> With those damn hills, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get off and walk. And then I got the little the little GPS reader there, and you know, all I bought the I brought the little turn signal thing. I have that on there too. I'm gonna turn that on because I'm getting ready to take off. So yeah, so we're gonna go that way. We're gonna try to try to make it. I don't know, man. These clouds are looking a little rough, but we're gonna try it. All right, this damn GoPro, it takes forever for the GPS to come in. So, you know, it has that nice feature with them stickers. That you can put in there on the overlay the video with. But the problem is if it doesn't work half the time, then it's no good. You know, you, I've made a couple of videos. They, the stickers worked, the stickers didn't, you know. You get something like that, you want it to work. Not, oh, I'll work once in a while. You know, I might be shooting some kind of video where, you know, you set everything up to work. So that's very annoying that that thing doesn't work half the time. Okay, so the GPS on the little reader is ready to go. <sighs> I think. And of course, it's not doing anything. Let me see. Basically, only use that for my mileage. It works when it wants. Another piece of junk. Oh, this is gonna be a real fun trip here. You know, cause this Jetson, it only goes 15 miles an hour top, so. Let me come over here and make a couple of adjustments. All right. Let me get going. At least let me get to the mall. So I can take a break. D. <laughs> That's good. Uh, 
Okay, so I made it that far. <laughs> I'm still alive. I forgot my damn mirror. Uh, I meant to take it off of the... Uh, the Ingui. But uh, I forgot. See, that's what happens when you get old. Okay, guys? Just as a heads up. Okay, let me give you a heads up. When you get into your 60s, you start forgetting things. Like, things that you just thought about, you know, previous minute. I noticed that that happens. Not all the time, you know, once in a while, you know. Especially if you're busy doing something. You'll get these little brain, these little brain lapses. But it is what it is. I'm not taking that sidewalk. I'm not doing that sidewalk no more. I'm just gonna ride the streets from now on because it's legal in Pennsylvania, so I don't care. I see clouds hanging over the bridge here, so it's muggy and it's nasty. <laughs> Boy, I feel like Lance freaking Armstrong pumping these pedals, man, I'm telling you. But I think it's all gonna come to an end here pretty quickly. And it did. Okay, so I'm gonna have to walk the rest of the hill because the Jetson just can't hang on this. And then that other hill, oh my God. That's even a killer for me to walk up. That other hill's a killer to walk up, even if you don't, even if you're not pushing a bike. All right, I made it, believe it or not. The only problem is that other hill, man. Wow. Whew, that other hill's a million times worse than this thing. I mean, that other hill is a killer. Absolute killer. There's some alternative route to go around that hill there. I'm gonna have to think about that for a while. Like if you went up past the mall and up around. Hmm. I believe they got this place still closed off for you know they make the regular shoppers 
Pico Park over there, and then this is this is parking for pickup only. But everybody comes over here, all the cheaters. You know, those people that like say, oh, screw that, I ain't doing it. Yeah, but I don't, like a Dumbo, I sit there and park over there. You know, if I came over here and parked, they'd probably put a warrant out for my arrest or something, you know. I could hop that bus up that hill. Okay, so far I've went 2.16 miles. Chugging that hill over there is for, you know, a quarter of the way up on the kill that bar of the Jetson battery, so. Yeah, trust, trust me, guys. I am not looking forward to climbing this hill, to walking up this hill. Yeah, because you know I did it with the electric XP and it just about killed me. But I but actually I got halfway up. This thing I'm not getting any way up. Okay. I might get a little uh, a little taste of something. I got about as far as I did with the Jetson. All right, I made it up the hill. Believe it or not, this hill, whew, man, it's a killer. It's a real killer. Now I get to cruise all the way downhill to Turtle Creek. So, that'll be okay. Whew. Wow, was that a killer.
It's the breakfast club at the local gin mill, the hut. <laughs> Let's see how many miles I went so far. 3.6. Okay. So I'm taking me a little two minute break here. out here too far today guys because it's gonna rain I know it's gonna rain that's forecasted to rain every day until Tuesday I just figured I, I saw a little bit of blue up there I'd take a chance to be able to get this ride in today get my exercise <laughs> but I tell you what I got that exercise already on that damn hill okay those hills were the exercise, that walking up that two hills. That was enough exercise for me for three months. But I'll be doing it in next week again on the Ingui. The I'll tell you what, this Jetson and this Ingui, I will say one thing about these bikes. These things are quiet as heck. It's not like that damn electric XP, that rattle trap. That thing's rattling all over the place all the time. <laughs> Some squeaking and rattling and, you know, not, not this, not this, man. This thing and that uh, Ingui, these things are quiet as can be, man. Quiet as can be. Five point two five miles. That's all I went so far. Wow. 
me go over here and see what's happening. Are they ever going to reopen Caesar's Lounge? One of my old stomping grounds right here. Oh, it was a real dump. Nope. They still got the shit on the... Been closed since the uh, pandemic started. Or, or scamdemic, as I call it. It's been closed since then. It's never reopened. dead something over here. Probably a dead junkie <laughs> laying in the weeds over there. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Now, I don't know if I want to take this route and walk up that hill or risk the going down the wrong way of a one way. That hill's kind of a killer, man. That hill is kind of rough. I screwed that hill. I'll go this way. <laughs> I don't have the energy for another one of those big giant mountains. This other one I got coming up bad enough. starting to rain a little bit. Ugh. No, you don't want to get trapped out here in the rain, that's for sure. See them sprinkles in that pond? <laughs> that means bad news for me. <laughs> okay, that's what that means. Hey, bud. Right. 
the Jetson seems to be not going as fast as it normally does, so I don't know what the story is with that. It's slowed down a lot. I don't know if it's... I checked the air and the tires before I left the house. Put the recommended amount in there. But it seems to be going a little bit slower now. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm not taking the long way home today, guys. I'm taking the short way home. <laughs> okay, it's, it's raining. Okay, so I got to get out of here. Oh, I could just imagine the pain in the ass it would be to get caught in a, a you know, some cloud burst or something out here on one of these bikes. Oh, my God. Would that suck? I didn't run into much um, traffic, so that was that was okay. I mean, it was like 7:30 or something when I left, maybe earlier. Not sure. It was early. Let's put it that way.
right, guys. Whew. That's about it. The end of the road. <laughs>